Right, so we just found a very good specimen. I'm going to show you. And this right here is the very special plant uh, called the Sutherlandia, or the normal names Cancer Bush, in Afrikaans Kankerbos. It's also known as a bunch of different names, like um, the Blas Erki, or the Blas Bossy, or the Balloon Pea, and that's due to these seed pods right here. It's also called the clapper in Afrikaans. Because if you hit this and burst it, it will make a clap kind of sound. So the seeds are inside these seed pods. I'm not going to open it right now. You can see it also has these beautiful dark orange reddish flowers that comes out at this time of the year after the first rains. During the summertime the bush will all but die and shrivel up and you might not even notice it. And then when the rains start the new green leaves will come out and later on the flowers and then also the seeds. And after this when the summertime comes again, the plant um, will dry out. These seed pods will open, the seeds will disperse, and it will lie dormant in the felt until next year when it might make a new little cancer bush plant here in the Guru. So, what's special about this plant? Well, this is one of the best medicinal plants in Africa if not in the world and there's a lot of um, research that supports this so the reason why it's called cancer bush is because a lot of people use it to fight back um, at internal cancers it also is a very good herb to use to strengthen the immune system which is very good for this day and age in the pandemics and it's also used for a wide variety of other things um, diabetes um, you can use topical you can use it topically for for treating wounds for bronchitis for um, pains and aches and for heartburn and digestion you can use it for hemorrhoids and piles and a bunch of other different things. This um, documentation of people using this going as far back as thousands of years when the Bushmen used this. And the most, a lot of people in South Africa still use this to today for all these different things. So how exactly do you use this plant medicinally? Right? So, if you just want to use it to get a bit of energy, uh, to feel a bit more open-minded, if you want to, when you're walking in the felt, you can just pick a few of these leaves and just chew them. It has a bitterish um, taste, but not very unpleasant. But the best way would probably be to cut off the leaves. Remember, always use leave the flowers and the seed pods so that it can grow again next year and make new plants. So just cut off a few of these leaves. Then you can let it dry. And then you can use it to make tea. You can also use it fresh as it is uh, to make a tea. So how do you make a tea from the cancer bush? You take about a teaspoon full of leaves that's cut up into very small pieces and you just add it to a liter of boiling water then you leave it for about 12 hours and your tea will be ready then you can also add a little bit of honey maybe one or two teaspoons just to take the bitterness away a little bit and then you've got nice cancer bush tea you can drink that about three times a day 
just a small half a cup it'll be very good for strengthening the immune system and giving you more energy and just helping for a whole bunch of different things right so that is the Sutherlandia cancer bush plant for you hope you enjoyed it and next time when you see it in the felt know that it's a very very special plant and it's something that needs to be protected and but it's also there to be enjoyed by people who love using natural and herbal remedies right so let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below and i will get back to you soon